Hi, in this video we will talk about how to merge data from two different tables or multiple tables in R. So let me create a simple table by creating some vectors and then combining those vectors into a, a small table. So let me call this as table 1 because um, the names are x1 and x2. Let me make it a bit more meaningful by changing the column names there as patient ID and the patient name. So we got data for two uh, uh, four, four patients with the patient ID as the identifying field and the patient name as um, their patient, uh, the names of the patients. Let me create another table. This time, if you notice, I have four patients again. P1, P2, P3, P4, and then um, their ages. So if I run this, I have another table which has the ages of the patients. Now, to, to merge is quite simple. All we need to do is call the merge statement, and the data has been merged. Now, only thing is that in this case, we have the same patient ID or the patient identifying field in both the cases. So we didn't have to give So in case your IDs are different, uh, the, the name of the field of the ID is different. For example, if this is patient ID and in another table you might have the patient number, you would actually give this so that the merge command knows what are the key fields in both the tables. Since we have used the same field in both the tables, so we are using the same name in both cases, or we could have omitted it altogether. This is what we did earlier by simply saying merge. So both the commands are going to produce the same result. Now, what if I add another patient So I have a fifth patient named Kim. Oh, we haven't added Kim up here. So, so we have five patients now, P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, and we have added this new result. But on the other side, we still have four patients. So you notice that the P5, the age of the record P5 is missing. Let's merge it together and see what happens. You still have four patients. The fifth patient has not been shown. So if I use a command called all dot x equals t, I'm saying that I want to get all the records from the first table, no matter whether they join or no, I just want to get all the records from the first table and wherever possible, join them together. So if I run it, I get five records. So this is equivalent to a left hand join, which we'll talk about further. So you can see that we have five records up there. On the patient names, we have all the patient names here, but Kim is missing the age because in the in the age table, we didn't record Kim's age because we didn't have um, a, a corresponding record which had P5 and the age of the patient. So this is how you can um, control it. You can also have a reverse situation where you can say, I have another patient and whose ID is P6 and whose age is 20. So if I run this little 
command i still see because i'm saying all dot x equals t so whatever is the first table everything from that has come now i'm going to say whatever is in the table 2 or the y table it has to be there so you can see that now we have picked everything from tb2 which is p1 p2 p3 p4 and p6 we notice that kim is missing from it because kim was on the on the left table or um, on the table one now if i wanted to get everything from both the tables no matter what whether they join or no i can say all equals true and you would see that we have six records now in the first uh, in the f first instance we have kim but the age is missing and in the second instance we have the age of the patient which is uh, the patient id is p6 but we never recorded the the name of the sixth patient so this way you can control whether you want um, to pick the equijoin or the inner join that means we just want to pick the records where the tables are matched and in the second one we want to pick everything from the left table and in the second one we want to pick everything from the right table and in this we just want everything which is which is a full join no matter what we just need to pick all the data in now think of a situation when i have um, another table t3 and in this case i am recording the patient's problem the presenting problem in the hospital or in the in the clinic so patient one two three four and in this case you know that uh, we have just recorded four patients um, the rest of them are missing so how do i join it together now if i try merging with a merge and if i try tv3 this is not going to work because merge would only work on two tables at a time one way would be to merge it together with tb1 and tb2 and then again try merging it with the third one so that's that's a long story you you got to um, keep on doing it so if you got more than two tables i wouldn't recommend this uh, method so there is another method which we can use which is available from a different library and i use the library called per and library deployer and i can simply use First of all, I'll work on two tables and show you how it um, provides the same functionality as merge. So I'm saying list table one and table two, and I'm saying inner join. So let's see what, what happens. You can see it has given us the data, which is the inner join. That means wherever there is match on both the sides, we have got the data, and which is equivalent to this. So I'll, I'll, I'll bring it here just to show you the equivalent result so either you can use this or you can use that and now the second one being i want to pick everything from the left side left join you can see it has picked up all the data from our first table tv1 so in the first table we have five patients and all the five patients have been listed we have five names all the five names have been listed Whereas in the second table, we had one, two, three, four, five patient names, but we didn't have the equivalent um, data for P5, which is Kim, because you can see P4 and P6. That's why this is, so this is equivalent to our X equals T. You can achieve the same thing by X equals T. Similarly, there is another way which is the right join where we are picking all the data from the second table which is equivalent to our this command where we said all dot y equals two and lastly we have the full join which picks up all the data from both the tables whether they join or no um, so, um, but we are using the patient ID as the key to, for, for joining um, all the data. So even the missing data from the second table and the third table is also presented, which is equivalent to
so if you if you notice that I've put all the equivalent commands together I'll just now as we talked about joining three tables and we found out that we can't use merge to join three tables but we we said that list and reduce can do that using the library per and library dplyr so let me um, do that so in this case i'm saying I'm saying list table one, table two, table three, and reduce it um, the inner join by the patient ID. This is the key. And you can see that it's working. Similarly, I can try the other options also, picking all the data from as a, as a left join, as a right join, and as a full join as well. So this, this command is more flexible in providing more, more functionality in terms of joining multiple tables. It could be one table, it could be 10 tables. It's much easier to use um, the merge command. So with that, we come to the end of this video. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you very much.